and good evening everybody it's a little bit past midnight and i thought i'd take the time to sit down and make this video of this uh gpo 746 that i just received in the mail today or yesterday um it's from 1971 was refurbished don't know what year i think 19 1982 and converted to BT and on the cord there it's pretty dirty got it cheaper because it happened to be in the state of Texas so I don't have to worry about paying extra shipping from across the sea but as you can see it's Kind of dirty and i don't know if the light really gives it justice well, the light actually does give it justice because you can't really see the dirt but it's uh, kind of a messy phone the person i bought it from actually got it from an estate sale so they got it as it was um here's a look at it it's a little bit rough shape there's a lot of scratches on it This is the Mark II housing. The Mark I would have a slanted cradle. Dial is kind of seized up. I don't know if it just needs oiling or the housing also is a little bit off center. So you can see the dial's a little bit crooked. So I don't know if that's what that is. I haven't taken the housing off yet. Notice the slot isn't in line with the finger stop where it should uh, sit. That's probably why it's seized. So once I get that removed, that might help it. But, yeah, there's the handset. The cord is leaching, especially in the restraint. It's really sticky, which is kind of a common thing for these phones as they age. And I've always noticed that the red ones, when they're leaching, they tend to be faded because the plasticizer is actually bleeding out. Or it's also causing the dye to come out as well doesn't really happen in the cord itself. It's always the restraints. I don't know if it's like that over here, too. I can't... I don't think it's doing that on this side. But I always thought that was kind of interesting and it did that over there. Maybe it's because it's always constantly... This is where, like, a lot of the bending happens because where the, where the handset is always being handled and all that... But, yeah, here's the bottom of the phone. Let me flip it over for you. BT rented. Supplied by British Telecom and batch sampled. 1982. And it's 1971, first month, January. Original. Originally built. So... Yeah, so it's nice to actually have a red one with the Mark II housing that will go well with my 746 with the Mark I housing. As you can see, I've had this problem with this phone where the plungers tend to get stuck in here. It's not in line with the holes. So always been a problem with that phone but it's nice to have an have one with a mark ii so this was the first checkout um i do have an update i have recently signed a lease for an apartment so this will be my last video that i will be doing here at my parents house so i believe that my next video will be the final checkout of this telephone in the new apartment. I don't know if there's going to be 
a home phone option or a landline. I understand looking inside the apartment there are some outlets, but I don't know if I'll be able to test it on a line if that's not an option. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, initial checkout video of this phone, and I will see you next time in my apartment. So have a great evening, a great week, and thanks for watching.